The Chocolate Tree by Dina Gregory is a delightful tale that weaves together history and fantasy, infusing the natural allure of chocolate with a sense of wonder and enchantment. The story opens in ancient times with the creation of a magical chocolate tree by the mystical Mayan goddess Ixcacao. The goddess bestows the tree with special powers, allowing it to produce the most delectable chocolate known to mankind. This chocolate holds not only irresistible flavor, but also the power to grant wisdom and vitality to those who consume it responsibly and with respect for the sacred plant from which it comes. As the tale unfolds, we meet a young Mayan boy named Mayel, who lives with his family in a modest village near where the tree is hidden. Mayel's grandfather, a revered elder and the keeper of the village's stories and rituals, is one of the few who knows the location and the secrets of the chocolate tree. He understands the deep connection between his people, the land, and the divine gift they have been granted by the gods. Life in the village is deeply tied to the cycles of nature, with traditions and festivities that mark the changing seasons and the harvests. Among these traditions is the sacred chocolate ceremony, where the villagers gather to pay homage to Iskakao and to share the precious chocolate derived from the tree's pods. This ceremony is a time of gratitude, community bonding, and reflection on the balance of life. As Mael grows up, his grandfather begins to impart wisdom from the ancestors and teaches him the ways of the chocolate tree. The boy is fascinated by the stories and dreams of one day being the chocolate tree's keeper. However, his innocence is soon challenged by the arrival of mysterious outsiders, conquistadors, led by a ruthless Spaniard named Cortez. These invaders, driven by greed and a thirst for conquest, hear rumors of the legendary tree and set out to find it, believing it to be a source of unlimited riches. The peaceful life of Mael's village is shattered as the conquistadors disrupt their way of life, seeking to claim the tree for themselves and exploit its powers without understanding its sacredness. Mael, who has now become a young man, is appointed by his ailing grandfather, who senses his time is nearing an end as the new protector of the tree. Guided by the wisdom of his ancestors and his innate connection to the natural world, Mael faces the daunting task of safeguarding the tree and his people's way of life. He must use cunning and courage to outsmart the invaders while staying true to the legacy passed down to him. Alongside his closest friends and with the support of his community, Mael embarks on an epic journey. They devise a plan to lead the conquistadors astray and to preserve the chocolate tree from being discovered and exploited. Mael and his companions face numerous challenges, employing guerrilla tactics, wisdom, and the magic of the tree itself to keep the conquerors at bay. In parallel, the story delves into the character of Cortez, who represents the relentless force of colonialism that threatens to destroy the fabric of Mayan society. Cortez is depicted as a man blinded by ambition, unable to perceive the deeper value of the chocolate tree beyond its material worth. His single-minded quest for wealth and power becomes his undoing, as he becomes increasingly consumed by his own greed and fails to recognize the true strength of Mael and the villagers united in the defense of their sacred treasure. Through a series of encounters and strategic maneuvers, Mael begins to turn the tide against the conquistadors. His resourcefulness, and deep understanding of the environment allow him and his allies to exploit the weaknesses of the invaders, who are unprepared for the ingenuity and resilience of the native people. The climax of the story arrives as Mael and his friends lead Cortez and his men into a trap, using their knowledge of the land to their advantage. A battle ensues, and through the use of the chocolate's magic and the villagers' solidarity, Mael ultimately triumphs defeating Cortez and sending the remaining conquistadors fleeing. In the aftermath, the village rejoices, having preserved their culture and the chocolate tree. However, the battle leaves them wary of future threats and aware of the fragile nature of their existence. Mael, now the recognized keeper of the chocolate tree, vows to honor his grandfather's legacy and to continue to respect the balance of nature and the sacred connection his people share with the land. The story concludes with a forward-looking message. While the immediate danger has been averted, the struggle to protect precious natural resources and cultural heritage is ongoing. The chocolate tree, as a symbol of this heritage, stands tall, 
but only as long as there are those like Mael who are willing to protect and cherish it. The chocolate Jordan tree reminds us of the importance of tradition, the value of nature, and the lessons of history. It calls readers to reflect on how we interact with the environment and with each other, emphasizing the need for stewardship and respect. It is a tale that raises awareness about the impacts of colonialism and the exploitation of natural resources, while also celebrating the resilience and ingenuity of indigenous cultures. In the end, the magic of the tree remains a beacon of hope and a testament to the enduring spirit of the Mayan people. It stands as a reminder that true wealth is not in material possessions, but in the knowledge, wisdom, and relationships that define a community and connect it to the world around it. Through sharing this enchanting story, Dina Gregory invites readers to appreciate the depth and richness of cultural traditions and to recognize the interconnectedness of all life, represented by the miraculous gift of the chocolate tree. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.